Tyson's hands are low, but the key thing to point out is actually his head leaning forwards beyond his lead foot here. And Fury's head going beyond his lead foot isn't a new revelation either. In recent fights, such as the Deontay Wilder trilogy, look at the build-up sequence for that first knockdown of Fury in the fourth round. And once again, you'll see Tyson Fury's head go beyond his lead foot, and at the point of contact with Deontay's cross, you can see it there. And that leads to the knockdown. It's a habit that's crept into Fury's game in recent years. So going back to the Usyk example, the key thing to point out is actually his head leaning forwards beyond his lead foot here. And that leaves him very defensively compromised. So Usyk throws a jab and then follows that up immediately after with a left hand. And this rocks Tyson Fury. It really shakes Tyson and you can see from the reaction afterwards, he immediately then tends to his nose that's been bleeding since the earlier rounds. Usually Tyson has a good poker face, but he's showing visible signs of being hurt here and then you'll see in this next sequence that Usyk's looking to capitalize but Fury pushes down on his neck and he distorts the accuracy of Usyk's shot in the end as he exits the sequence. And just for good measure on the exit, Tyson Fury then looks to land one of those belt line body shots that he's been looking to land and find a home for and he does on this occasion. And while staying tight you can see Usyk's forehead leaning on Tyson's bicep to safely put distance between themselves without Usyk being tagged in the process as he exits and Tyson looks to land a shot here but he's not able to get it off as Usyk kept very tight and then Tyson pushes him off. And then Usyk gets a little bit greedy here. You can see him going to land a shot immediately afterwards and he's not able to get it off and then Tyson with the side of his fist then rotates his glove and lands on the side of Usyk's head and that knocks him backwards momentarily but he's then straight on him afterwards and Usyk's elbows widen apart and that creates a vacuum of space between his arms and Tyson Fury exploits that with a left uppercut that he lands and then Tyson gets a little bit greedy here afterwards for good measure he tries to catch Usyk with a right hand but Alexander's already dipping to the left and that forward momentum of that right glove then comes over and Tyson Fury now gets caught with a right hand from Alexander Usyk and the momentum of Usyk's body shifted him that way so the weight was already on his back leg so by the time he springs into that left hand he's already got his full weight behind it and this is a shot that badly wobbles Tyson Fury and sends him backpedaling onto the ropes where they actually hold him up in the end and instinctively Tyson Fury shells up and covers the front lane of his face which opens up the side of his head and Usyk then begins teeing off around the sides of his guard and Tyson's very badly hurt here he hasn't got his legs under him and Usyk is teeing off with shots that are coming from all different angles and Usyk is constantly switching up the angles as well coming from the side and also up the middle as and when necessary when Fury diverts his attention to the side. Alexander then decides to switch up the angles to make him constantly have to reshuffle his guard and he's badly discombobulated. You can see here stumbling back towards the ropes. He hasn't got his legs under him either. And now Usyk's really beginning to sit on his punches. It's not so much the volume but he's really putting his power into the shots as well and taking a bit more time to be calculated. Here you can see Fury guarding the middle of his face and that opens up the side that Usyk exploits and then immediately afterwards you can see that left hand for good measure knock Tyson Fury back onto the ropes and ultimately it's those ropes that are holding Tyson Fury up otherwise that would have most likely constituted as a knockdown and then Usyk lines up Tyson Fury for a left hand and this wobbles Tyson Fury backwards perhaps more so than any other punch did in the sequences prior and Tyson is in a very bad way in this position and that prompts the referee to in intervene and call it a knockdown as ultimately it was the ropes that held Fury up and it scored as a knockdown in a 10-8 round to Usyk. And I felt it was worth highlighting this particular point at the beginning of the sequence itself where Usyk first hurt Fury. Because while it wasn't the shot that sent him back onto the ropes, it was one that visibly stunned him and afterwards it changed his behaviour. Both in his reaction after the shot landed, but also in his risk taking afterwards. Where Tyson would be having success with one shot and then he'd get a little bit ahead of his skis and greedy with the next and that's how he got counted. And this sort of behaviour can be traced back to the trilogy between him and Deontay Wilder back in 2021. And so for context, I thought it was worth highlighting to show it wasn't an isolated incident, but rather a repeated behavior pattern that's crept into Fury's game. 
Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions that you'd like me to answer for you in future videos or the extended breakdowns, just tweet them over to me. That's at ElusiveRaf on Twitter. If you guys want to see my daily fight analysis uploads, I upload those every day to Instagram and that's at Elusive 2.0 on Instagram.